Hi, I'm Lee, Fix It For Resetting It. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I've met up with John Wilem, a subscriber. Uh, someone I chat to now and again in the live chats of uh, the eBay YouTube videos I watch. Um, and he bought me over a load of stuff. Paid him 50 quid for a load of bits and bobs that are all sort of broken, all have problems. Uh, first one we're looking at is this sharp mini disc player, portable player. I haven't got a clue. He wasn't even able to test this one, uh, but we've got an adapter for it. so. Let's get on the desk and we'll see what's wrong with it. Alright, so if we plug this in, do a test and show you. Did that feel like it spun then? I'm not sure with the motor spin. Try that again. No, nothing. No noise. Pops up saying uh, no disc. So we put a disc in. Comes up. Hello and everything. Volume base. Table of contents. There's nothing happening. I can't feel, hear anything spinning. And we get a table of contents error. Hey. Could you see all that before? Let me hold this up so you can see it. So it goes in. No sounds. Tries to read the table of contents and comes up with the error. Nothing. Right. Uh, it's probably going to be a dead laser. Probably not going to be much I can do with this one. Right, so let's just uh, pull it apart for the fun of it. See if we can clean the laser, see if we can see what's going on or anything. I haven't got a clue how this comes apart. I'm just going to start undoing screws. Start with these top ones, just see if the top piece comes out. Now, hopefully that will come off over there. Ta-da! Then all the other bits will come out. Excellent. So yes, yeah, so that door slides off literally that little hook there a little bit of metal lift it up just catches on back of this bit of plastic might have to zoom into that to show you moves the cables enough for me to see inside I'll see if we can spot where the laser is. That's here, isn't it? Laser's down underneath there. Well, I'm just going to get a bit of IPA on a cotton bud. Just going to get down on, under here. Hope you can see the laser just under there. Which, to be fair, does look okay. Just want it with one side, try it off with the other side. Let's just get rid of some of this muck that's in here while right. Um, let's try just connecting these back up. We'll put some power to it and see what happens. I'm not sure whether, it was, whether we can see if I lift this up. See if we can see if it's doing anything. It said no disc on the screen. No, nothing. No sound, nothing spinning. I think we might need to take this apart further. Okay, let's just pop some cables and stuff out. Let's let's see if we can get this apart further. Might have to look at some of these pads under the microscope.
Oh, so that's the mechanism out. It's just getting hung up on that that cable that was pinching through here. So I'm going to put a bit of voltage into that motor, just make sure it moves. And I'm just going to put in uh, one volt and a few milliamps. Oh, that slides across. So what was that moving? That arm that slides over there then. Yeah, that's what drops that down. That's what drops that down onto there. See that's all the way down, touch it at a minute. If I reverse these leads and bring that back the other way. There you can see it's up again. Our main motor is down in here. So it doesn't matter which way around the voltage goes. It'll just spin the motor one way or the other. Let me spin it around that way so my arm's on in the way. Laser arms getting stuck. So you can see the mechanism is working. So we know all our motors are good in here. Just this laser. Can you buy a laser by looking up this code? You buy one on AliExpress for £22.89, which is before tax. Free shipping. Three on eBay, all from China for 40 quid. And that is not worth it. Let's have a quick look at these under ribbon connectors under the microscope. Record that quickly. Is that recording yet? Yeah. yeah, they look all right. They don't look cracked. Ones on the front, they look, all look all right. It's just got like a fold line along the middle where it's gripped, but they're not cracked. Yeah, that's, in as, that's as close in as I can get. All looking fine. The light blue one all look good, maybe not that one on the end. Makes me wonder if that's carbon. Q 
Q-tips a little bit black, so I think these might be carbon traces. But this is just for the front display and controls. It's got nothing to do with sending power to the laser. It's all looking okay. So all those connectors look fine. Right, I'm just going to slide some of this back together and see if we can uh, see the laser coming on or anything. Not much else I can do. So that's not falling it. That is. Hang on, I now have movement. The laser is seeking for a disc. This is now moving. And it's just checking the contacts and cleaning them up and replacing them just to fix this. That will be amazing if it has. Right, try again. Power, no disc. Right, let's go this way. You can hear the motors moving still. Reading the table of contents. Errors. Trying to read. Right, power. Now we can see what it's doing. So we can see the disc is spinning. Can't do much else once it errors, none of the buttons do anything. Is it spinning fast enough? Let's see if we can see a laser light in there. I'm going to turn these lights off. I'm going to lift the latch at the back to simulate the disc going in. Oh, and I've got to push that button down at the front of I Can't see a light. Can't see a light. Let's remove. Let me remove this top arm, which hopefully doesn't make it throw a wobbly. Right. Now are we going to get any light out of that laser? Yes, we are. It is moving up and down trying to focus. Don't look at a laser directly with your eyes, people. All right, so the laser is coming on, but could be weak, not strong enough. All right, it's back apart now. Um, I've reset the laser back to where it was. I've looked online about these, and they say a uh, about the cog under here is split a lot of the times and that is what causes the error but I wasn't too sure because the sled goes up and down fine remember when we put the voltage on there the sled seems to move, move up and down fine and you've seen when we put the disc in if I move the sled all the way across it'll go back again and you can see it moving but I'm not sure whether that's a problem or not so I'm just going to have a look at it anyway so we just need to get this Sled out here with the worm gear. Uh, so we need to take that middle one off. Q 
gear out. Let's move the sled all the way over. There we go, and this is the gear. They're on about sound it goes. So let's have a look at that under the microscope because that's pretty small. All right, so here we go. This is a cock. You can see the teeth are at a slight angle. Which is right. Ooh, it's hard to keep this in the shot. It's a little dent there. I mean, they all look fine. Let's just spin it around there. However, that's like a little dent, but it's, it's minuscule. I mean, this whole thing's probably about three mil wide, maybe. In there you can see like a little bend, but like I say, this thing is absolutely tiny. Try and hold that and turn it. Yes, that shaft's been in there, so I'm suspecting this has got a broken tooth somewhere. They're all looking fine. A couple of little dents. Oh, no, there you go. There you go, you can see it. There's the crank down the middle. See how these ones are nice and flat? See how that's nice and flat in there? There's the big crack. So if I pull this off, can I pull this off of there? If I pull this out of there, there. Yeah, you can see if I squeeze it. It is. It's cracked. So although it's moving, although the sled is moving along, it's obviously slipping at some point. We've got to find one of them. It's not a normal one, it's tiny and the teeth are angled. Alright, looking online, the only kind of replacements I see for them are uh, someone selling some bronze ones for about 20 bloody quid. And it ain't worth it. Okay, that's it. I give up this one. I think it's a little cog. Um, whether I've killed the laser, being a dumbass, I don't know. Um, but unless we can find the cog for that, I don't think it's going to work properly. You're never really going to glue a cog that small back together properly. Um, it needs to be sort of compressed and tight fitting. And the trouble is you glue it and as soon as you put it back on that spindle, it's just going to open back up. Um, the glue's not really holding it, it's such a tiny part. I don't think, you know, there's enough surface tension. Uh, it's always best to replace them. I'd never be able to sell it with a repaired cog. It'll go again. So we've got to look for one of them. Um, unfortunately, that's a no fix for now, but at least you know how to take it apart, all the ins and outs of kind of like the mini disc player and what to look out for. So I hope you liked this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please like, please comment, please subscribe. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.